I'm back. And I am going to be continuing working on the van. And then we came up with the idea of putting uh, LED strips here through a switch. That way when we are serving people, it lights up this whole area. We have some haze LED uh, lining roll here, which is bright white. It has like a, like a cutting point that you can cut it there. And I'm just gonna solder wires from there to this light, because I need it to be uh, side by side next to each other like this. Oh, baby! She's a worker. Oh, she works. Okay, so I already did the double strips and I wired it roughly. So. On, off. I think this is a strobe light. Yep, that's the strobe light for the car. And then another one's gonna be like the LEDs that we're gonna be running separately. Uh, the strip is very bright and that dome light is attached to the same wiring the same switch so um, it hits the uh, the fridge area so yeah that's it for now I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow all right well continuing on with the van we're gonna go ahead and actually start to get our dash put back in this and we've got some exciting parts that came in from our friends over at Pioneer Electronics Metra and SOS customs I know we've shown you guys the dash already and here it is it's looking pretty good uh, this is where the vents used to be, and this is where the head unit is supposed to be. We had them block that off, and we've got a Ricky over hey. here. <laughs> so Ricky and I decided to go ahead and order up some five and a quarter grill covers. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill holes in the top of this dash, and actually mount these to allow the sound to come out instead of forcing it through the uh, vinyl material that we have on the dash. So we picked up these boom mats. They're this little uh, speaker. I guess it's like a kind of an enclosure. Yeah. It's made out of a thick foam. Really thick foam. And uh, this is gonna allow the, the speaker to do its job, but then also force the sound out instead of just getting lost underneath the dashboard. So we also got our Pioneer head unit in, which is super badass. This is kind of like Pioneer's top of the line, 10.1 uh, inch touchscreen receiver. Green. And so that is actually going to go in this location here where we blocked off the vents. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of water. A lot of bits in there. Dude, this is massive. <laughs> this is massive. Oh, wow. This is so sick though. Oh, damn. Oh man, it fits really good actually. Not only does this do CarPlay and all the stuff that allows you to pair your phone up to it, it's also going to control a lot of our other functions in the van like the backup camera, it's ready for steering wheel controls, which we are going to add Metra steering wheel controls to the column. In order to get this mounted in here properly, Metra sent us over um, a couple of their head, head unit kits, so they weren't sure which one that we were going to be needing. There ain't nothing to it but to do it, so we're going to get cracking. Here we go, we just got the uh, speaker covers on both sides. The hole is made. And right now Mickey is over there messing with the van speakers. I'm actually in the process of this one, but that one's already done, so you can show them that. So they can understand what we're doing. So this is the foam that uh, Mickey was talking about that goes under the speaker. And what it does is instead of the speaker bouncing off everything behind the dash, it literally concentrates here and you will be able to hear it hell of a lot better than what you would without this foam off. Uh, and these uh, vans are it. a challenge because it's such a big open air space yeah. and they're very rattly. It's gonna sound good, man. I hope so. All right, so Mickey had a chance to install these Twitters yesterday, but he's scurred. Ah! So he... <laughs> So he told me, well he didn't tell me to do it, but somebody's gotta do it. So I'm gonna drill into this brand new dash and hopefully the drill goes to catch the leather and rips it completely across because then it'll be bad. 
So I already showed you this sick ass one inch tweeter. It's gonna be installed right here. Like this, it's gonna be facing the uh, passenger and the other one's gonna be facing the driver. So if you guys notice, I have four different cables here. And this is just auxiliary cables that I have that run to the A switch panel. So each one of these cables gives power according to the switch panel. So when you go one, two, three, four, each one of them is gonna send power too. So this is something that I'm doing on that rent forward in case we are gonna start adding more stuff to the van. The wire is already ran. And all we gotta do is just grab it from here and take it to whatever source we need to. Ooh, what do you think right there? Heck yeah, yeah, it makes it feel like, a, like an it makes truck. it feel important up there, you know? When you're yeah. pulling up, you're like, yeah, let me hit these buttons. Beep, beep, beep. Night Rider, <laughs> activate. I'm ready, Michael. You guys notice Mickey uh, mounted the bracket up here. I ran all the wiring already. And you see that little red dot, that means that it has power now. I just finished hooking up the light switch. Now, the lights are blue in the background whenever it's dark out. And you'll be able to see it. Next up, I'm gonna put the same dome light that we have up there, that actually, we can control through here. Hey. So we have this light and our light hooked up to the same switch on purpose and I'm gonna hook up the same uh, dome light uh, right up here in the center and that's gonna be controlled by the uh, stock uh, door switch for the doors. So you can see, this is one of those cool touch, uh, touch panel ones. Literally just touch it. And then it has like different uh, dimmed options for it. So that's pretty cool. And what I keep forgetting is this fan up here. This is what's gonna, cause right now it's like, I'm feeling it's extremely hot and humid in here. And if I would've had this on, that would change everything. At the same time, I keep forgetting to run this thing. And this is gonna be one of those eight switches that we have up there. As you guys know, I already ran those wires. So I'm gonna grab one of those wires. Uh, I'm gonna use that wire, I'm gonna run it up and ground this as well. And I'm gonna put it to one of those uh, switch panels. And we're gonna test that today. All right guys, so as you can see, I have the fan up here and I should send it on to test it and she works perfectly fine. This, all, this whole thing is gonna be covered by a, a cover that we have after that, that I'm gonna be installing. But that's pretty sick and I have it installed to the uh, switch panel like I said I would. So it's working and now it's not. And it already feels a million times better. It was super hot in here, super humid. And now it's working perfectly fine. I uh, am yeah, in the back of the ice cream truck with Big Jeff. Say hi, Big Jeff. Hey. What's going on? Like we said before, we have the two batteries back here. And I actually want to add a battery charger. And this is a four amp uh, uh, charger. And I want to keep it back here, ready to go as we're sitting down. So pretty much what we're going to be sitting down in the uh, in the events. Obviously, the, the truck's going to be off. We're going to be running off the generator and the batteries to support all the electronics in here and we're actually gonna only be running the two batteries in the back for everything plus the generator and then the front battery we're gonna cut the switch off that way we save that battery just for the engine so we can start it up and move it and do whatever we got to do for events so right now i'm going to be installing that and i want to keep it back here so i'm going to mount it to the wall and then once it's mounted i'm going to run the wires to the battery and i'll explain you everything as soon as i get it done so all i did i just took the back cover off and i bolted it down to the piece of wood back here and I just gotta make sure this is lined up how it's supposed to go. This. Yes. 
that's it. So battery uh, charger came with this battery adapter. So instead of running the clips to the battery, we just put this straight to the battery terminals. And from here, we'll run the wire through here and just plug it into this. And then at that moment, it'll start charging both batteries at the same time, whenever we're sitting at events. And then this one, I'm gonna keep loose uh, and keep it uh, keep it back here. So when we run into the generator, we just plug it to the generator. And if we need to plug it to our inverters, then we just plug it to the inverter. All right, so I'm back in the van now that this is hooked up and I put the cover on it so you guys can see. Um, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be installing this kicker amplifier. These are four channel amplifier. I'm gonna be installing it just so I can have one less thing to do in the near future. So I'm gonna put the uh, positive, negative remote and the four RCAs and I'm gonna hook up all the speaker wires that I have here for the front. So this wiring is just for two for the two front speakers and the two Twitter. So there's four speakers. So we're gonna grab the first two channels, channel one and two for the front and we're gonna grab three and four for the rear boxes that we're gonna be building. Okay, so this is the end of the video. As you guys can see, Mickey put some Downstar hardware. I hooked up the uh, eight panel switch on top. We have some LEDs working. We have the fan working. We have the back one working. And we did a lot more updates on the rear. Uh, this is actually working. It's already charging the, the rear batteries uh, and everything is working properly. We also hooked up the fan on top right here. So in order for it to work, it has to be open. And then we press the switch. And boom, it's working. What else did we do? We ran a lot more wiring. I did hooked up the amp back here. It's hooked up, it's thrown in the corner. We're not gonna test it yet because we still have to run the deck. Uh, once we install the stereo, which is gonna be the next thing I'm gonna be doing, uh, we'll be able to at least test the front speaker to make sure that all four of them are working. The dome light got hooked up as well, so. Uh, we are making a lot of progress. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.